Hey guys, I just want to do this quick video on the Blackstone that I just picked up. Uh, this is the Adventure Ready. I have a big Blackstone and I really like that. I really like the way it cooks and uh, really enjoyed that. So I wanted to try this out. This is the 17 inch. Um, there's also a 22 inch, which would probably be pretty good for an RV, but I'm kind of limited on space in here. So 17, I think is probably the right size for me. It says that you can assemble this in 30 minutes. Uh, this is powered by propane. It uses these propane bottles, or you can use a, an adapter to run into it. So I may end up doing the adapter, I'm not really sure. It's a pretty large surface. It says it can do 12 bacon strips, 12 fried eggs, nine pancakes, six chicken breasts, nine hamburgers, and four steaks. Um, this box had some damage on it, so hopefully there's no damage to the actual product. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's inside. Got an owner's manual in here. So this top part is the actual griddle. Um, you can tell it's a little bit dusty. We're gonna clean that off in a little bit. In this box, we're gonna have the little propane attachment here. This little rubber piece, uh, I would hang onto that, just keeps it clean. So this is only gonna be attached when you're using it. You can just pop this off and put it in here when you're not. This is gonna be the grease catcher. On previous models, they had a grease catcher inside, but on the Adventure Ready one, you can Put this one in here and then once you have the lid on you can set it on the back I'm just gonna hand tighten it now but I will screw it on a little bit tighter I don't want any rattling I want to make sure this is as tight as I can possibly get everything but also don't overdo it to the point you you know strip something just kind of crank it down a little bit. These feet underneath, there are four of them and they will line up with these holes right here. Now this will fit perfectly right here. You can scrape all of the grease back there, but this is basically it right here. So one thing about cast iron is that you're gonna have to season it before you use it. In the instructions, it states to use it while you're cooking it, but I've seen some other videos where they talk about the fact that it goes uneven. Um, we're gonna cover it and put it in the oven and then we'll use it that way. So it gets a nice even seasoning. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean this surface. That way there's nothing baking into it like dust and stuff like that. Should go ahead and set the temperature now so that when you're done oiling it, it'll be ready to go. Paper towel is gonna shred up on here and then you're gonna be cooking it. I guess the little flakes could probably catch on fire or something like that. So we're just gonna use this. There's a couple different oils you can use, but I always use canola oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna properly coat this. Um, I used it twice on here just to get a really nice layer, but you're gonna wanna rub it down till it's a thin layer. After this, we are going to set it in the oven right side up for 30 to 45 minutes. And then after that, we'll go ahead, do another layer, flip it over and cook it for another 30 to 45 minutes. Now this is, I believe, pre-seasoned to a certain degree. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it's really good. And as you cook it, it will actually season itself. I'm probably gonna end up cooking for the first time on here, either bacon or a very fatty burger maybe like an 80 20 percent or even lower but we want to go ahead and pre-season it before we season to cook it so after you've done about 30 to 45 minutes um, right side up then we're going to go ahead and wipe down another layer just use something like tongs so you don't accidentally touch the hot surface and then after that we're just going to flip it upside down and do another 30 to 45 minutes and it should be good and seasoned also just note to let this sit for like an hour afterwards. Um, don't touch it right away. It's still gonna be hot. So guys, so far I've been really happy with this. I even picked up this case here that's really nice. Keeps it so that 
Keeps it so that this can be separate from here if you kind of have to put this up in a hurry. So one thing I was running into is that there was some rattling here. So I just brought some stuff that I already would use, which is something to wipe it down. And basically that prevents it from this rattling on it. It's pretty easy. Just set it in there and you can pack it away. Like I said, I've been very happy with this. Um, everything works like it should. I usually keep this um, propane thing in my drawer system and then I keep the keep this and something to wipe the surface down. And the bag definitely helps a lot. Um, I really like that function. I'll say the downside for me is the size. It's just a little bit bigger than my old grill. So you can have a lot of space, this might not be for you, but it fits perfectly fine in my stuff. And especially with the bag, it kind of just sits nice and flat and there's no rattling while I'm off-roading or anything like that. If you're looking to get into something like this, I'll drop a link below for this as well as the bag. Um, the bag is not branded by Blackstone. It's just some off-brand, but it works just fine. But yeah, if you guys think that this is something you like, I'll put the link below and you guys can check it out. Thanks for stopping by.